What's up guys, Reese here. Welcome to another video. This is a video entitled How I Trained Invention. So it's going to be a little bit of a guide, but also not like this is the most efficient thing and the best thing you should do. This is just how I did it. I am 99 Invention. I'm not going to 120, I don't think, at the moment. I mean, I haven't touched it in like a week. <laughs> But yeah, let's just say, um, I'll just be showing you in this video, hopefully a decent long video, maybe six minutes, just going over the methods of how I trained it, what I broke down, what weapons I used, I did the augmented uh, method of just leveling my weapons and I'll show you where I leveled them. So stick around, it may see a, seem a bit odd and out of place at the start, for instance, we're here. We're here at the um, elf place, I'll just say, you're going to need a lot of requirements, I can't name them all, but it's a pretty high level skill, you'd know, you're going to need like, you know access to a lot of things but the first place we're here is we're in the uh elf forest place it's fadar or something this is one of the spawns of where you can buy a crystal bow now that's going to come in handy here but we're not going to be using the bow it's also also the people can spawn here but we are here waiting for them so if they're not here we'll wait a few minutes they come every five minutes and we'll be buying a bow which will be turning into a crystal staff so i'll be back in a sec all right now this little elfie has uh shown up and made themselves Welcome, you can, one of your bows please, so of course you need the requirements for all these quests and stuff, it's pretty known. But anyway, the, the reason I'm showing you this is because this is just a cheaper and alternative method to getting a bow. It is not the only method and it's not, uh, may not the preferred method, but the uh, method I was training invention was using mage and it did, uh, you did need a bow for it. Now this requires the bow that you just bought for a mill and some harmonic dust. Now the reason you're doing this is because you buy the bow, you just break it down. Then that weapon seed costs 1.1 mil on the G. So you have saved yourself uh, some cash there. But you also need harmonic dust to save yourself the rest of the money. Or you can make yourself uh, with, with cash, which then doesn't work out with saving money. But anyway, we have our weapon we're going to be using for this method, which is a crystal stuff. Cost us 1k and around 300 harmonic dust or something like that. And, um... Let's get to go uh, making our augmenters and things like that, and I'll show you wh what I did for our augmenters. That's I'm going to the wrong place. So I mentioned this isn't a guide for noobs. This isn't like a uh, how to trade invention guide. This is just me showing what I did. So for augmenters, um, base parts, bolts, weapons with hilts and shields. Unfortunately, I can't really give you a tip on this, and I wouldn't recommend it, but I broke down 5,000 rune daggers that someone gave to me. Uh, as a secret Santa present for, for our clan. So I didn't actually pay for those. I wouldn't have paid for them myself. I wouldn't have actually done that. I don't advise that. But that's what I did for that one. Um, tensile parts. Bows, crossbows, ranged armor. I broke down my own maple shield bows unstrung, which I made. I strung maybe 3k for 99. That's all I had to do. I, didn't, I mean, just cut. Didn't even have to string them. Same with flexible. Whips, bows, summoning pouches. Same thing. Uh, maple shield bow. You can see there. Enhancing components. I broke down adrenaline pots. Um, maybe 5,000, around 5,000 of them for 99. Um, only got nine things left. Uh, powerful components, in the end, I end up breaking down battle staffs, so they're the best. I did, uh, mess around with cow strings and spider silk boots and gloves. But at the end, battle staffs are just the best. If you if you want a cheap method to battle staffs, you go kill, uh, spiritual mages. That'd be great, great battle staffs there. Because, look at this, um, we've only got ten to break down, so we don't know if it'll work. But let's break down ten. Let's see if we get any uh, powerful components. They are pretty good. But then you go with these other things, magic parts, stave parts, anyway. Are we going to get any for that 10? <laughs> Probably not. There we go, one of them. So there we go. 70k and we get one powerful component. That's all right. But anyway, so then you make your uh, augmenter. Great. Great. Augmenter. You're going to need to make three augmenters for this method. I didn't mention that. Crystal staff. Augment your crystal staff. Boom. Awesome. Now, back in a sec. Also, for divine charges, which you guys should know is how you charge and like pay for your weapons and how they actually run and what they use for energy um, I just bought those off the Grand Exchange same with the equipment siphons just off the GE why am I recording again alright now this is where the training comes in this is all I did I did forget one thing but you'll get the basic idea so I've got my augmented crystal staff I repeated the process breaking down those different things for my subjugation and I've broken and I have augmented top and bottom of subjugation so you got those three you got a weapon and two things now, of course, you could do this any way you wanted, but this was the cheap method I did, so I didn't have to break down an item every time. Um, so Then you just jump in here, make sure they're aggressive to you. You can summon a Steel Titan, if you have any, uh, if you don't have a familiar out already. Brilliant. I'm not sure how this actually helps, because even after 99, I'm not sure how the stuff works. Like if, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. If uh, it goes off the XP I gain, or just the monsters that are killed or something, so I'm not sure if a familiar actually will help that much. 
but this is the important part. So you want to get here, AFK, they all retaliate you, have no gold items, it's okay with the Zami item, um, because they don't, uh, there's only like a few Zami items here, and you're still AoEing them. So the ability bar, you want your AoE abilities. This is not the best ability bar, this is just one I used, and Revolution, of course, with the AoE abilities front-loaded onto the ability bar. Um, like I say, you've got Augmented Subjugation, this is very important, you want a Demon Horn Necklace and a Bone Crusher. These are pretty much guaranteed and needed unless you want to just bring a bunch of prayer pots and it won't be AFK. Um, with your soul split. And then that's it. You're gaining and you're leveling up your weapons. It's pretty much 100% AFK. I would bring a Vecna skull here to boost my mage, but I forgot that. Inventory is just normally about five steel titans, a bunch of equipment siphons, and that's what you're going to do. Once your augmented staff reaches level 10, you destroy it for 540k XP. Once your top and bottom reach level 12, you destroy them. I mean, you siphon those for uh, 540k XP. And that's all I did. That's it, guys. That is my invention guide. Just break down those things that I did, try to find cheap things, augment your armor and weapons. I broke down crystal staffs over and over again and siphoned subjugation. And that's it, guys. That's why I did for 99 invention. Invention. I don't think I've missed anything. Um, yeah, that's just what I did. So I hope this guide will help some of you guys. Um, like I say, it's not exactly a guide, but it is a bit of a guide. And you can see I've already killed 13 monsters here. The XP is just uh, rolling in. Also, in the process of this, I got 120 defense. So it's great. It's really AFK. Of course, there's better methods. I just want to do a separate video of how I trained adventures. When people ask, I can show them to someone. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. See you tomorrow. Love you all. I've been Mr. Letteress. If you made this final video, drop a like. See you guys. Bye-bye.